Welcome back, guys. My name is Matthias, and yes, this is part four of the interactive pro guide. And like I told you guys in the last episode, we're just going to run to this town. And yeah, um, this uh, part four, I'm going to try and pull back again. Okay, focus more on the script instead of just talking randomly. So we're not going to waste a lot of time here. Um, the first thing that I want you to do is loot the garages and workshops for screwdrivers. Okay, when you enter a town, I did I did look at the town for a while. Okay, but I am going to take out my um, my bow just in case there's a player here. And um, I threw away the cabbages and stuff. I did eat quite a few stuff, you know, just to get myself to about fifty percent. So I'm going to use the bow. Um, just for in case, and I like um, using first person most of the time. So when I say um, garages, workshops, I mean the garages with the garage doors and things that aren't houses. So this this place right here is a perfect um, example of that. Okay, and of course the fact that I hear puppets is a good indication that no one's been you know that. Someone hasn't killed all the puppets. But what I want you guys to focus on is if you don't find any loot, okay, it means someone has looted the place. And this is absolutely excellent that we found this. I'm gonna drag it in there. Yeah, so if you're looting a town and you're like, in, I don't find anything, official servers suck. No, your server is populated, okay? I have chosen a server that's not that populated on purpose so that when I want to show you guys something, the chances that I'm not going to find anything is really, really low, okay? What the hell? Goodness gracious, woman. Did you, did you take some Red Bull or something that gave you wings? So yeah, that's all I'm going to do now, guys, and I'm not going to, again, that is a C4 marker that I have on me. Again, I don't want to spend too much time in a town, okay? So I'm not going to take my time. We have got two screwdrivers, and we've got a box of bobby pins. I'll be back with you guys when I do step one, when I get eight screwdrivers. Okay, there we go, boys. That didn't take too long. We found eight screwdrivers. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, still haven't found a thread. Uh, found a fishing line, which is better than that fishing line because it's stronger. Okay. Uh, we found a toolbox. We found a 10 meter wire, which is going to be useful to craft a better bone arrow. So when I say better bone arrow, I mean this bone arrow. We've got a cutting tool. We just need a long stick. Um, I think we're probably going to do that right now. We got a box of 0.22 ammo. We got nine more ammo. Just by just by the workshops. Just by looting the workshops and, you know, standard stuff. Not searching. Um, I'm not searching the puppets because that's just time that I don't want to waste now at the moment. And if you want to know someone has been in, in your vicinity lately, if you search something, it will be like this. Okay? The the hourglass is not going to go off. And, yeah, guys, when, when I'm running around, I'm doing this. Okay? So I'm constantly running around and never standing still. Okay? I'm not going to give any guy... An easy shot on me, okay? He's going to have to take a risk. Even if I come into a garage and I loot the garage, okay? I'm running forward, and if I look around, I'm, like, running backwards, okay? I'm never I'm never standing still. Because one, one lucky headshot, you know, and I'm dead. One lucky headshot, and I'm dead, okay? So I'm just going to eat this egg quickly. So, yeah. Bonus tip. This is not number two. This is just a bonus tip. Don't stand still. Okay? Don't stand still. And I'd, I don't like to look around the cabinets. I, like, I just like to um, go do this. Of course, there is something to loot. But, yeah, I basically just scan the area like this, guys. I mean, you can, you know, you can look down. Or I can just check. I'm looking. Look, look there. I'm looking there. I'm looking there while I'm scanning. 
okay? Instead of looking here. Can I see anyone coming? If I'm looking like this, no. But if I'm looking like this, then I can see people coming, you know? Then I can focus on the angle that I'm um, looking at. So then a person can just, he can still kill me from behind, but at least I'm covering one angle. Okay, but if, when I don't have a lot of weight on, weight on me, this is how I'm basically moving around. Okay? And then every now and then, if I think I've um, heard something, I just crouch down, go into focus mode, although my awareness isn't, um, isn't massive at the moment. But even if your awareness isn't massive, you can still keep quiet, listen to whatever you're hearing. Okay? Okay, so that's basically it. We've got our eight screwdrivers. We need a stick, so I'm going to do the safer thing here. Just going to do a little bit of, you know, last time we were done. This time I'm not going to be too stupid. Again, go out of first person. Just to check my surroundings. And now I can uh, craft the 35 pound boat. Which is a better boat. More power behind the arrow. Yeah, more damage. Flies further, like a hundred pound ballistic bow is absolutely my favorite. You can use that bow like a freaking, like a sniper rifle if you want. Okay, so there we go. And that was as easy as it, that is as easy as it is, guys. We've got a better bow. Ching chong cha, here we go. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to go into the police station, but again, okay, if we can use the bow, we will. There's a bunch of garages that we haven't looted yet, okay? Bunch of garages that we haven't looted yet. Official servers are easy, guys. Really, people that say official servers are difficult. Um, I don't know. Don't know what to say. I've got my reasons why I don't like official servers. But it's definitely not the loot setting. So now, what's number two? Clear the police station first before you loot. Okay, so what I mean by clear the police station is don't focus on the lockers. Just focus on the normal loot for now, okay? And clear it. What I mean by clear it is make sure there's nobody inside yet, okay? There we go, so you can just lie down for us. Okay, yeah, so this is what I mean by clear it. Just loot it quickly. And, I mean, somebody could go through this town and just do the police station. Okay, so you're looting the whole town. You don't think there's anyone inside this town. But if you if you went to the police station, you check that only Moses, you know, this the hour. When I'm searching something, this, this hour percentage thing is not happening. Which means that somebody has been here lately, which can happen. You know, a lot of people just, there are good players that do focus looting. Okay, and you didn't give me my arrows? Is it just one that you hid away from me? Okay. Uh, I'm not looking for soap at the moment. Just getting that awareness up. Like I say, just make sure we don't skip anything. Okay, and clear it. That's all I want you guys to do. Is clear the police station. The puppet, the puppet spawn percentages are really ridiculous here. Like official servers are PvP servers, guys. There's, there's really nothing to fear on an official server except for players. Uh, that is why I create more challenging servers. Okay, so we're just going to clear this for now. Okay. Because when we come back, we just want to do the lockers, okay? We don't want to get sidetracked. We just want to do the, the, not these lockers, these lockers, okay? We want to make sure that we don't miss anything. I'm sure I picked up a pair of scissors. Uh, maybe that was another game. Okay. And just check. You can't open the door. You're not going to see something in the vicinity if you're not if you, if you don't have a clear route at it but i mean you don't have to open the door you can just check like this and i mean police stations do have give clothing and backpacks and stuff like that there is sometimes loot on the roof but if i'm in a hurry i don't really focus on the loot on the roof so okay when you've cleared the top 
Now we get busy. Okay, so we're gonna take out two bobby pins. Just gonna crouch in case someone could get an angle on us from a window. Craft it into a lockpick. And now lockpick it. I really don't care what I'm using, guys. I really, really don't care. Okay, not lucky. Take back our bow. So this place is safer because the guy has to come up to kill you. This right here is very, very dangerous because here people have a bunch. A guy can kill me from there, from there. You know, if, like if I'm standing up, de die, 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 die. Okay, die. Okay, so this is the dangerous area where you want to get out of as soon as possible. So again, you can even take out, if you've got inventory space, guys, you can take uh, take them out um, upstairs. You don't have to take them out down here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drop this um, so that I don't use them. Okay, I just wasn't going to let that, uh, you know, I wasn't going to let that bother me. So I'm putting that in my inventory so that it prioritizes the stuff in my inventory. And because we've got advanced lock picking, we don't waste a lot of time here. Even if we're bad at lock picking, we don't waste a lot of time here because of the advanced lock picking. Okay. Um, nope. Desert Eagle. Most of you are crazy about a desert eagle, guys. I'm not crazy about a desert eagle, okay? And now, now that we're in a closed area, again, we've just got two angles, okay? But now we're going to take out four bobby pins. Now we just press Alt-C to craft the last thing that we crafted. And we press Alt. Like, I wanted to look there, but it didn't want me to look there. So you have to press Alt sometimes to get out of that lock. Did it, did it use it now? Did it use, did it use one of them now? Where are we? I'm wasting time now, but... It's always something that I'm interested in when you start interacting with it. Um, no, okay, okay. As long as we don't start it, it's fine. Okay, let's go. Sorry, the unlock sound is really hard. Mm, yeah, it is really hard. Boom shakalaka, what's in the lucky pack? It's shotgun ammo, great. Nothing. And a shotgun. It's as easy as that, boys. It's as easy as that. So we're gonna get rid of the melee weapon. Because a shotgun is a close range, <laughs> a shotgun is a cr close range weapon, guys. Just a very, very effective close range weapon. We're gonna pick that up. We're gonna take our shotgun, press R, to load the rounds inside. And yeah, we can press once. We can press um, V to put our gun down, okay? Or you can press V to lift it up. Or you can just press your mouse button. You don't want to press the mouse button while it's up, okay? That's not good for you. Okay, so clear the police station and loot first was point number two. Point number three was start with the top two lockers, okay? Work your down to the dangerous one with the windows and then finish in the safe area over here. Um, and then at this point, you should be close to full. Okay, so look for a spot to bury your loot. Um, and, yeah, okay, we are quite full. Okay, so let's go, let's first look. We don't care about this thing making a noise here. 
Let's look for a place where we want to stash our loot. Um, close to this town is no problem. Okay, I'm not very full of nonsense right in the beginning. Where are you? There we go. I don't care where this thing comes, guys. I'm going to use it for experience. We're going to get my arrows back. And then sometimes you're going to give me experience. Okay. So, I'm not very worried about this, okay? But, yeah. Hopefully not a lot of you knows what server I'm playing on. But in any case, I'm going to I'm gonna take this landmark. I'm going to take that landmark. I'm going to take this, this place over here. I'm going to go behind the tree. And I'm going to pick this bush. Okay? I'm going to pick this bush. Okay, so now we want to cut down a tree. And why is the saw so great? The metal saw not only processes more materials, but it doesn't make as much noise as the axe. This might sound loud to you guys, but it's it's not as loud as an axe. An axe you can hear from very, very far away. And again, we don't have to be locked in that screen. We can look around. Okay. Now we want to get that branch. You see the branch is pointing that way. We have no problem with that. Okay, we're just going to soak up those skill points we're going to process one plank okay and then <clears throat> we're going to craft the chest we're just going to put it right yeah it's fine I'm just going to put it right there and then we want to add eight planks to it. So we're just going to do another one, yeah? Okay. Then we're going to shift. Shift F. What the hell? Why are the other planks so far? Okay. And now we only need the rope. Okay. We only need the rope. And that's why we did this. That's why we did this. Now, the one reason I go deep into the forest is so that I can put down a flag. We are not going to be able to put down a flag here, but it's very, very early um, in my session. So I'm not, I'm not planning on moving very far away from this location for now. And the next time I'm full with loot, okay, this is not the, this is not the option that I'm going to use. If I lose my stuff now, if somebody steals my chest now, guys, what? I took like the two sessions that you guys have seen how long did it take me to um get those resources okay i'm not gonna cry myself to death okay actually i never cry myself to death but you guys get the point okay so we're gonna craft again I'm covered from this side and I'm covered from this side. So I actually just want to focus in front of me.
And at the beginning, it's going to take quite a bit, guys, to craft your chest because you've got no engineering skill. Okay, don't worry about that. As we go, it's going to get easier and easier. Okay, so now we're going to grab the rope. Okay. Immerse ourselves. Okay. And now, we're going to press tab. And we're going to put all the stuff in here that we don't want for now. I am very happy with the metal saw, so I'm going to put the axe there. I don't have the gun for this yet, and I'm not very excited about it. I'll keep the 9 more ammo because that should be easy to find. That just looks like scrap for now. Um... Toolbox is necessary, but it, stay, it takes up a lot of inventory space, so I don't need it now. I definitely don't need that now, but it's good to have. Uh, I'm not going to use that now. Definitely not going to use that now, and it helps me so that I don't have to micromanage that. And uh, We are going to do fishing at some point, so I want to put all my fishing gear in there. Um, maybe I find the ammo and the gun for that. I mean, all pistols are quite easy to find. I definitely want to put all my all my padlocks in here. Okay, um, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to use that now. Just scan it from the top, guys. Just scan it from the top. Just scan everything from the top. We're going to put that there. Don't need the bait now. Don't need any of this now. Really don't need any of this now. Uh Nah, we can keep that. We're going to push ourselves. Um, no, nah, that doesn't really bother me. Okay, well, if we're going to keep those feathers, we can keep these feathers as well. Okay, um, so that's it. Now, we can, we can leave it here, but that won't, be the, that won't be the brightest idea in the world. And if I'm right, we don't have any rope left, so we're just going to come back here and um, cut uh, cut into small sticks because this metal saw is just OP with everything. And like I say, guys, if you want to do the safer, do it in the forest, and then you can put a flag down, okay? A flag is going to help you massively. Me... Overall, I'm not worried if I lose my stuff, but I mean, with this little bit of gear, I'm really, really not worried. And if I get into contact, great. That's that's the most exciting part about an official server. Mano y mano, me versus someone else, or me versus a clan. That just um, that just makes things a lot things a lot more fun. So we we've got the rope. We've definitely got a stick, so we only need a plank. There we go, craft it. Now, I don't like doing this all the time, so if you guys want to bury stuff a lot, again, do it deep in the forest, hide it very properly, and then um, if you find a small shovel, keep the small shovel, guys. Keep the small shovel on you. It's a must if you're doing this all the time. I mean, I don't mind doing it now, but holy poop, guys. I don't want to craft uh, you know, a shovel every single time I want to interact with my loot, okay? That's not fun at all. So if I find a small shovel, I am keeping it, guys, just for the one or two times that I'm going to come back here, okay? And I'm probably going to get tired. Are we going to do it or are we going to take a break? I think we're going to take a break. Yep, here we come. Whoopsie, 95%. I really wish they can make this, um, make him just finish this. But in any case, they were done. And that's it. I lose done. So we can put a flag now, but I put a mental note on it, okay? Um, there's the little shop. There's the garage. Behind the garage is a big, massive tree, and I'm at the, I'm at the little bush here, okay? And you can, you can do what I said to do, okay? Or you can just do this. If you want to, if you want to have mobility while you're resting, do this. Because um, when we go here, when we go to resting, it's 2.5. Okay, when we do it like this, it's times one. 
Okay, so it's still a lot faster when you rest, but this can save your life um, in a clinch. And when I'm done burying it, guys, I get rid of the evidence. Okay, I get rid of the evidence. Okay, so we've buried our loot. You never want to enter a high loot area with loot on you. Okay, low risk, high reward. Okay, now that I don't have a lot on me to lose, when I go into any point of interest, a bunker, a military point of interest, or whatever, the guy's not going to get a lot from me. Okay, he's not going to get everything that I looted, and I won't mind dying. Okay, because I've got a shotgun that I got from a police station. There's a heck of a lot of police stations on the map. Now, what most of you will do, and I don't mind it, is go to that airfield. A lot of you, when you hear, you go there. So there are places that everyone goes to regularly. Okay, I am very tempted to, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I wanted to go there, guys, but now that I see how far it is, no, that's a very, very bad idea, okay? I like to loot places that don't get looted very much, and in this series, I will show you how to loot that dam extremely easily, okay? But, okay, we, 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 want, to, we want to go to the airfield, okay? Um, so, again, the less loot you have, you know, then the potential to get great loot, to kill someone and get all their gear. Like if you run into a fully geared player, he's risking a lot. It took him a lot to get all the attachments for his gun. Like maybe he's got an M82 on him or SVD or, you know, you want to run into a guy that's been on an official server his entire life because he won't really mind losing all his stuff. Okay, he will, but I'm sure he's got like 10 M82s in, at his base if he hasn't been raided. Okay, so if they kill us, meh, they might even leave most of our stuff on our body because they're not interested in it, okay? But if we kill them, bang, bang, jackpot, okay? So that's number five, um, low risk, high reward. Number six is now you want to loot a military point of interest, but not bunkers. Easy loot, easy to get in, easy to get out, which is a military point of interest, okay? And then... Um, yeah, point seven is I'm going to show you guys four places that I love. So this is definitely a place that I love. That is a place that I love. When we're talking about points of interest where I don't have to go into a bunker and I can get out very, very easily. So there's number one. There's number two. And um, this place I love because here's the train yard and there's the boot camp. Okay. So I love I love these two places as well. This um, castle over here is fantastic. If I ever spawn in these four sectors, I am looting that castle immediately for a medieval helmet and a pistol and a, a hiking backpack and everything I want. So let's go one, two, um, three. And what other place do I like a lot? I just love this. I just love these nine blocks um, a lot, okay? I uh, usually go fetch my sardines there. That place is cool, but again, um, I, can, I can get into an uncomfortable situation with a MIG or a player can snipe me, which they can do there as well. I just think this is... Uh, everyone wants to go here. And then the, the, the prison, the prison. That's why I also love this place. There's the prison. I love looting the prison as well because it's a place that not everyone likes to loot. And then there's the satellite here. Like, guys, like, this, this area is my area. Um, if you want to be left alone, of course, you're going you're gonna to focus on these six squares here. And, yeah, if you want to be close to all the new stuff, then this is also a nice place because these 10 blocks basically has the naval base, that new town. And of course, every single sector has a bunker with a kill box. So there's some bunkers that you would like and some that you wouldn't like. But I mean, on this line, there's not a lot for me. But on this line, there's a lot. There's the new town. There's a motocross track. There's the new town. There's the new town. Here's this major train station. Here's this MIG factory, Okay. But it's, uh, I mean, if I'm not year, I'm not going to focus on year. If I'm year, I'm going to focus on year. Okay? And if I want to be left alone, I'm going to go there. 
29 minutes. So we just can't keep it to th 20 minutes, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, number eight, we want to start finding a base of operations. Okay. So locks and stronger walls is a must for now. Once we can make advanced shock protection, um, we can simplify things. Okay, so the reason I want to loot a military point of interest and the reason that we're going to loot a bunker in the next episode is because I want to start focusing on locks. But for now, when I've looted my next area, I am going to just start chopping down trees. I must say that isn't a bad place for chopping down trees because you can come here where never, no one ever goes and just hack away at those trees forever and add to the blueprints. So that's what I'm going to do right now, guys. I'm just going to loot. Um, I'm going to loot uh, the, the airfield. Okay, guys, here we are at the military airfield. And for now, I don't want to complicate things too much for myself. Okay. You can loot all those bunkers up there. One, two, three, four, five, five bunkers up there, you know, and the satellite up top. But because I don't, I'm not really heavily geared, I don't want to stay here too long. And I know this is a hot spot. I know this is a PvP zone. I know there could be campers here. So when you look at the airfield, you always want to come down this road beyond this side of the road because there's like a tunnel here. And um, beyond this side of the road, and then just enter these um, these hangars, okay? Um, again, by the bunkers, I can get trapped easily. This has got an entrance and an exit, okay? So I can't really be trapped. And, yeah, we just have to load our bone arrow again. Silent kills. Okay, if anyone, if any Rambo wants to be here and kill, you know, kill the puppets with his AK-47, that will be great for us. Also, keeping my eye on the on the um, on the Meg so that he doesn't see me. Um, at the moment, I am in a bit of danger. I am in a bit of open. Okay, there's a satellite up there, so I don't. That arrow re really wasn't worth it for me. And now, first want to go in with a shotgun. First want to see if it's clear. Okay. And then I want to get the bone arrow. Close the door behind me. Stealth, guys. Stealth. Okay. You don't want to make a noise. If everyone else makes a noise, that's fine. You want to make... As little noise as you can, so that you can hear it when people come, okay? Whoa. Whoa. Nice miss there, bro. Nice dodge there. Was that you being good or me being bad? And we can search him. You know, sometimes he gives us a helmet with a bit of durability. Sometimes he gives us a scope, okay? Military, AI... Are always good and like I say they can always surprise you okay they can always surprise you and I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do one of them so that you guys know what my you know how I'm doing it and I don't want to be detected by the megs at all guys as soon as you as soon as the megs go into the red as soon as their lights turn on um it's not a fun time okay it's not a fine time they lock onto you they shoot you through walls and stuff like that you don't want to do that at all. And please use. Um, oh, yeah. The mistake that I made when I left that town is not to get six screwdrivers again in case. There's a small chance of it, but let's say an airdrop lands right on top of us or in our sector. We want to have the screwdrivers to loot that cargo drop immediately and get the hell out of there. Okay? As fast as possible. So I just went to another town. So basically, I... I skipped, I, you know, I ran away from this town, this town, and when I was halfway, I was like, come on, man, D you know, tell people that you have to have six screwdrivers on you and bobby pins always. So I went to that town, got the resources that I need, okay? 
And I don't care about this. If I get more of these guns, I can turn them into... Um, I can break them out into into repair parts. Like if I find another block, I can use that block um, to dis disassemble it with the toolbox which we have and repair one of them. Whichever one is the highest durability. Like if I get a block now that's got like 60% um, durability, then you know I break down the 31% durability into. Uh, into a repair kit for the one with the higher for with for the one with the higher durability two of them nice and that my friends is an m9 suppressor official service guys this is number one okay and uh, the the pumpkin is op okay the pumpkin is op can i eat some pumpkin again i want to eat some pumpkin again eat all Normally, when I've got stuff that gives me a heck of a lot of resources, what I mean by a heck of a lot of resource, like a heck of a lot of protein, you know, and, or a heck of a lot of carbs, uh, then I'll eat them one for one. But you guys can see the, the values aren't going up very fast, but it's giving me water and it's giving me carbs, okay, which is really, really good. But I don't want to keep it on me, okay? I want to fill up my stomach and I want to get it off me. It's taking up four inventory slots. I have to value it. How valuable is it to keep it on my character? Okay? Not extremely valuable. And I usually press it to 100%, but I can just, you know, I can just press cancel. It's fine. Okay? Um, so, yeah. Prioritize your inventory space. Here I've got mushrooms. I'll throw away the mushrooms if they become a problem, or I'll just put them into better slots. And if I don't get hit by a freaking puppet again okay then my clothing would have been in a better state but that's it we're just gonna loot all four guys and um let's 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 speed run this let's speed run this this is how i loot but guys this is how i loot Booyaka, booyaka, booyaka. Okay, this is gonna, this is gonna cause. Uh, this is gonna cause an inventory problem. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna fit in there. How many slots? Does it only need one more slot? Can I sacrifice that thing? I can sacrifice that thing, and then I can sacrifice a mushroom. Goodness gracious, that gave me a heart attack. The sounds are loud, man. Goodness gracious. Okay. Now, you can... For me to be very relaxed now and go like, Oh, that was nothing. That won't be a... That won't be the wisest decision in the world guys like most of the time that's nothing i mean that even happens on single player for nobody knows what reason okay but that's why i'm telling you okay that's a puppet that's what i'm telling you like that speed is a priority so sometimes sometimes leveling up is not a priority Okay, there we got basic archery with just a few shots that we take. But when speed is a priority, don't shoot them in the legs or the chest. Okay, get it over with that you can sort that you can sort them out. Um, what? Okay, I am definitely going to use that. But what can I replace it with? Examine that thing isn't used for anything. It's the little radio that's used for something stupido. It's the little radio that's used for something. There we go. The rubber band can be used. Rubber band can be used. Damn, we're just getting stuff here that matters. Okay. We can stack the nails. Come on, brew. You can stack. You can stack stuff, man. 
What you doing here? What kind of what kind of guard are you running here, right? Eh? What kind of guard are you running here? Okay, boys, so there we go. Can we loot the bunkers up there? Yes, we can. Do we want to take a risk whenever we're full? Heck no. Heck no. Okay. So, all I'm basically going to do now is... I can just lie down here quickly. All I'm going to do now, okay, is put this loot in that chest as well. Okay, I'm going to craft the shovel at a different location, okay, and then unbury that chest, put this loot into that chest as well, and then um, um, just put the chest at, a, at, at another spot, okay, so that um, you snipers don't steal it. Um, and yes, then I'm going to do what I showed you guys, chop down a tree, put the planks into the blueprint. Uh, chop, you know, process the tree branch, walk in the direction that the sticks went into. So I'm going to level up survival, engineering, and um, and awareness, okay? For just a, just a half an hour. Just a half an hour. And tomorrow we're going to do our first bunker, okay? If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And yes, Discord is in the description below. If you want to support me to make my dream come true, Patreon is in the description below as well. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.